When it comes to Amazon ads, two key metrics you should know are ACoS and TACoS. But what do they mean and how can they help boost your profit margins and sales revenue? Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Pata, Product Evangelist at Celerab. And today I'll talk about Amazon ACoS versus TACoS. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. begin if you find this video helpful click the like button below and subscribe to seller app so you don't miss out on more exciting amazon selling tutorials in the future and also don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content let's get started a cost or advertising cost of sale measures how well your ads are doing without factoring in the total Amazon sales or profit margins. On the other hand, TACOS, which stands for Total Advertising Cost of Sales, measures how much you are reinvesting into Amazon ads. In short, ACoS measures how effective your advertising is, while TACOS shows the overall efficiency of your marketing efforts. ACoS is the amount spent specifically on advertising products for sale on Amazon. TACOS includes all advertising expenses both on Amazon and other sites as well as other marketing activities like sponsorships, uh, promotional events, etc. TACOS allows businesses to track overall profitability, dependency on advertising, impact of advertising on organic sales. Ideally, increasing ad spend leads to higher ad sales which boosts organic rankings and results in more organic sales. This flywheel effect helped us grow Nimble Brands revenue by six times in five months, which we'll discuss shortly. However, this isn't the case for many businesses struggling to grow sales. Therefore, it's important to monitor both the TACOS and ACOS to understand the business cycles and adjust your advertising strategies accordingly. So our client Nimble, a leader in pet tech solutions on Amazon, came to Cellerapp with the challenge of increasing their brand growth and revenue on the platform. Our customer success experts developed a plan to boost their advertising sales and improve the organic ranking of their listings. After six months of implementing advanced PPC strategies, we helped them achieve a 564% increase in their PPC revenue. We ensured that both organic and ad sales saw positive impacts. Additionally, our team used search term reports and seller app automation rules to enhance campaign efficiency. To achieve these results, the seller app customer success team continuously monitored ACoS and TACoS. As a result, total revenue grew sixfold, while TACoS and ACoS decreased by 39% and 28% respectively. This means we successfully increased both organic and ad sales simultaneously. If you want to achieve similar success like Nimble, talk to our Amazon experts. We are here to help. Now, here are a few reasons why these two Amazon PPC metrics can supercharge your campaign. First is effective ROI measurement. Using ACoS and TACoS helps you understand how effectively your spending translates into sales and revenue, which is crucial for cost control and determining if your campaigns are profitable. A low ACoS can indicate high profitability, showing you are on the right track. For instance, if you sell a product for $50 and your ACoS is 2%, you made $49 in profit. Conversely, a high ACoS might suggest that something needs adjustment. Second is calculate your profitability. Now, TACOS takes a broader approach by considering both ad spend and the cost of goods sold, uh, providing a holistic view of profitability. A low TACOS suggests your ads are generating a higher ROI. If you have a high TACOS, it means ads related to your product aren't performing well, so you'll need to review your campaign and test new bids, products, and keywords. Third is spotting trends within your campaigns. Understanding trends in your ACoS and TACOS can help you identify what's working and what's not. So here's what to look for and how to adjust. Uh, increase in ACoS and TACOS. If you are launching a new product and aiming uh, for impressions, 
a rise in both metrics isn't necessarily bad. However, if both increase uh, without a clear goal, you are likely to run uh, at a loss and need to investigate what's going wrong. Next is decrease in ACOS and TACOS. So this usually indicates your organic sales are outperforming paid sales. Celebrate the success, but keep monitoring and adjusting your ads as needed. After that, we have decrease in ACOS, but increase in TACOS. This suggests your organic sales are decreasing or becoming a smaller part of your total revenue. This shift moves you away from the long-term goal of increasing organic sales and reducing dependence on paid ads. Increase in tacos. You are um, investing more in ads, but organic sales aren't growing at the same rate. This could indicate inefficiency in your ad strategy. Decrease or flat tacos. Uh, the advertised product is generating uh, strong or steady sales and organic sales are improving. This means your brand awareness is growing, reducing dependence on paid advertising. Fourth is data-driven decisions. Using both ACOS and TACOS metrics gives you a clear picture of profitability and transparency in your advertising costs, helping you make informed data-driven decisions. ACOS shows how much revenue is spent on ads while TACOS uh, accounts for all the costs associated with advertising driven sales guiding your advertising budget decisions. ACOS measures advertising costs divided by ad sales, so as low an ACOS as you can get the better. And a high ACOS may need fixing, uh, reducing wasted spend with negative keywords can improve performance towards your target ACOS. Shifting your targeting from competitive keywords towards category and branded keywords can also help reduce a high ACoS percentage. At Cellwrap, we track ACoS to ensure that campaigns are optimized for maximum success. So let me show you how. At Cellwrap, uh, you know, we track ACoS to optimize campaigns for maximum success. So let me show you uh, after logging into the uh, Seller App dashboard, ensure that your Amazon Seller Central account is synced with the Seller App. Uh, navigate to the Advertising tab to view all of your advertising campaigns. So in the Overview section, you can find your ACoS. To ensure that your campaigns stay competitive and within the budget, we recommend that you optimize your keyword bits. To do this effectively, you must first uh, determine your campaign objectives such as uh, increasing sales, boosting profits, increasing impressions or reaching a specific ACoS target. Once you have established your goals, you can adjust your bids accordingly. For this, go to the Advertising uh, Select Insights. In the Insights section, you will be able to see the bid optimization option. Here you will be able to optimize your bids. Keep in mind, for keywords with good ACoS, increase the keyword bid if the keyword ACoS falls below the desired target ACoS. For keywords with high ACoS, lower the keyword bid if the keyword ACoS exceeds the desired target ACoS. On the other hand, TACOS is ad spend divided by total sales, so increasing overall sales or decreasing ad spend will both improve TACOS. Because TACOS is examining how your advertising costs are rolled into your total Amazon sales revenue figure, the easiest way to improve TACOS is to examine and re-evaluate your budgets. But this is only a short-term solution. A more long-term fix uh, would be to reorient your ad spend uh, you know, towards the lower funnel branded campaigns. In the short term, this won't grow your ad sales, but it will improve your relevance and help to grow your organic sales at a reduced advertising spend. You can also utilize um, Amazon PPC tools like negative keywords and ad group structure that focuses on efficiency or making sure that you are only advertising items with high sales potential. Whether you are more concerned with profit margin or just raw ad revenue, both TACOS and ACOS are important metrics to consider. TACOS is important to tracking profit margins and considering your total level of reinvestment. ACOS can be used to define more strict granular control over your account. So while other metrics are important, ACOS and TACOS are crucial for understanding your Amazon ad campaign's performance and profitability. Together, they provide a complete view that can greatly enhance your reporting and strategy. 
using these metrics uh, effectively helps you make informed decisions, optimize your campaigns, and maximize your ROAS. If you have any concerns, our team of advertising experts will assist you. So feel free to contact us at support at .com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.